now we going to have a most impactful uh, uh, presentation the impact impact experiment with mentor assisted programming and computing training managed by mr avinash wade sir and mentored by Ms. mrs aparna pansare team is here for the presentation uh, good afternoon everyone and sorry for the delay uh, we'd like to get started with our presentation uh, the topic of our presentation is called impact also known as the xxo software arena and those are the team members uh, this presentation will be slightly different one the, from the ones you have seen so far because it is not too technical the thing is to define the concept of what we needed for this project took a long while and i'd like to take you down that path because i think uh, a lot of stuff has been discussed today but going back to the fundamentals we have a few questions to look at and that would be what is learning because we all talk about learning and learning tools learning implementations the next question that would follow is so what constitutes learning and who is the one who controls what's to be learned uh these are important questions but are controversial and debatable all the time so we're not discussing that the question that we are facing today is how do we learn given that we have the technology and the means to get information across very fast how do we use this in a new way to make children learn properly learn in a manner that they can't ever forget it but then a question would follow but because there are existing conventional institutions and practices which do just that they teach you stuff there are colleges schools uh, coaching centers or whatever so why do we need a whole new mechanism to learn itself uh, i would like to take you through some facts that we have come up with it's it's public knowledge anyway it's hardly a uh, new because there is something really wrong with the education system in india and we pretend to be a superpower we pretend to be a developing country that's emerging but until this is fixed we are not going anywhere because gdp is hardly the thing that matters when you need good people in your country i'm going for a little fact checking this is a growth of the literacy of this country over the past 100 years i mean the growth is impressive over 100 years it's come from around 10% for men as around 80% the average is around 74% the problem is if you look at this from even a south asian point of view this is the second lowest literacy rate in south asia just ahead of pakistan and that's hardly a happy position to be in coming to a future the people so let us forget the people who are already out of the schooling system and are old and probably won't be picking up new skills or, although that's a statement that which is quite incorrect uh let us deal with the children who are indians 20% of them don't to go to go to school and it goes up to 50% for girls in large parts of india especially up bihar and the northern belt 10% of them have not even seen what a school looks like the coverage is amazing the primary school coverage in india is around 90 to 92% yes i'm we getting there we getting there uh, <laughs> see don't don't do this all marketing kind of thing come to the your country okay, vision fine. we'll get there we'll get there okay fine so this is the objective which drove us actually there are children out of the school system but what are what's wrong with the ones who are in the school system why are they not functioning it's hardly uh, you know impressive statistics over there the dropout rates are insanely high nobody is studying yeah fine no not that uh, and no, nobody is studying anything so basically the thing is the main problem with learning today is that the children are not responsible for what they learn they are not owners of what they learn they're not learning what they find interesting they're being taught by establishment they can't access their learning any time they have to move ahead with the class and keep up with it so that called for a whole new mechanism to deal with these huge problems and basically the objective of our entire project is this what is an effective way to learn given that we live in now the model that we came up with finally at the end of a lot of debate was this online assisted learning it's pretty much self explanatory we can see that it's online because of flexibility and the fact that uh, co-location is hardly needed for children to learn stuff you don't need to be in a class surrounded by your peer group to learn stuff it if anything it adds more pressure because you have to keep up if you're a slow student or you are dragged down if you are a pretty good student basically putting random people together in a class and making them learn the same thing at the same pace is destructive we can't have that the problem is that if it's only online and you can learn at your own pace there is no way in which you can resolve your doubts in a proper manner there is no one you can turn to and ask trust trust an online so that's where the assisted part comes in since p 
people have doubts and they want to talk to a real person who is an expert on the subject, they need a mentor who they can talk to always. And since this is a proof of concept, we ex hope to expand this into other languages, subjects and everything. We have started off by trying to teach programming. That is the most stuff we are most familiar with. So, we will go ahead with that. But then that comes up. So, this is experimental. How does it fare against the other conventional methods of learning that we already have? Uh, and the best way to look at that is to take up an example. How would one start learning C programming? Basically, how would you look at C programming? And uh, Narad explains to Lord Vishnu the various forms in one can go about learning a new language. You can either do a B.Tech degree, go to NIT, uh, go to the MOOC lab that we have here or try this one out. Uh, now, this is called IMPACT, Experimental Mentor Assisted Programming and Computing Tutoring, a portal to learn as of now because we ex hope to expand this soon. Programming language is the most comprehensive manner possible. And uh, we have tried to look at the system entirely from a student's point of view because that is who this thing revolves around. So, starting off, what a student would require when he starts off is he has to learn something that would mean he needs a lot of learning content which would be the first thing that he would require. So, the impact portal does provide a lot of content in C language as of now. It has 12 topics as of now which is continuously expanding, uh, you can expand it. Uh, and moving on, after the student has mastered the learning content, uh, since it is a programming language, we would need examples for the student to understand how stuff works together, how everything falls into place. Uh, for that, we have a lot of code in C, C++ actually, uh, which is searchable and organized by topic. He can just download the code and look at it, how it works, he can run it. Then comes one of the most interesting features in this portal, it is called the FAQs. Since we are targeting people who are new to the language, a lot of the doubts that they will raise will be the same doubts. All of them will have the same issues. That is what we put in the FAQ and this is searchable by topic as you will see in the demo shortly. Uh, this is searchable by topic. You can just type in your search term and get doubts which have been raised by other people and you can read the solutions over there. And what goes into the FAQs is actually responsible, uh, the mentors are responsible for it because they can find the questions that they get and if they think it could be an FAQ, they can put it into the FAQ. And if even that does not resolve the problem that you are having, you have this option, ask a mentor, which is the differentiating factor I believe uh, that this portal has. You can ask a question directly to the mentor on the portal, which he is bound to reply to since it shows up on his dashboard all the time, it does not go away from there. And we have a role of a student and a mentor, so you need mentors usually, a uh, system for that is in the future school, but currently the mentor is bound to reply to any doubt that the student uh, asks for. Uh, once the learning part is complete, uh, he has learnt up stuff, he has cleared his doubts about the concepts and now we only want to go and assess himself to see how good he is. Uh, a practical thing such as C would have two thoughts of uh, assessing yourself. There will be questions about code, about the theory of the language and there will be the practical side of it. The theoretical side of it actually we have got a lot of back end from the other Ekshiksha. Uh, group is the question bank. The question bank currently for us holds two sorts of questions, multiple choice and true or false. Questions are put in the question bank by the mentor and the student can try their hand at answering them. They can answer the question, they will see if it is right or wrong instantly and can learn from the mistakes. The practical side of learning a new language assessing yourself is the auto grader. Now, the auto grader can uh, handle questions that the mentors put into it. The mentors can set the mode of questions, what type of questions they need what type of questions are supported and just uh, you can ask for the functions. If it is a factorial function, you can hide a lot of the code and just ask for the function to compute factorial. Uh, the student types it in and he can instantly see if it is right or wrong because that code will be compiled on the server and the results are displayed back to him. And this is something that will test you continuously. It is not uh, a bit like the question bank or the auto grader which is limited in scope slightly. Uh, this is far more interesting, test your strength. Now, this area holds a few games which have a lot of code powering them. You are allowed to download the code which handles those games and then you will be allowed to optimize them. First, you will be playing with those games to see how they work and you can optimize that code which powers that game and test it against the server. So, basically you get to optimize code that the server has and you can try your hand at beating the server at its own game basically. Oh, and one more part of this portal is the contribute section which is in a very early stage of development, it is pretty basic right now. Uh, this is the part where we hope to run, hope to have uh, a competitive 
uh, atmosphere which would generate lot of apps uh, code which could be used by the Shiksha department in on their website. Basically this should be a source for a lot of software that will be used for social causes and what makes quality software in this would be the competitive aspect of it. Uh, there are two ways in which you can contribute to the Shiksha initiative. You can either submit an idea uh, which will be the part of the contribute section where logged in users can submit ideas for future products. If you cannot code something you can at least give an idea for what you think you need. And if you find a rather interesting idea you can go ahead and try your hand at solving those ideas themselves and uh, you upload the source code as well as executable if they are good enough as the mentor shall decide uh, they get imported into the extra platform. Uh, before moving on with the demo uh, this is the future scope that we hope to add to this presentation there is a lot of it. Uh, content building is uh, we want to model it on the model of a wiki. Uh, add report abuses everywhere, uh, add a dislike, dislike option if the uh, person who asks the question does not like the answer the mentor gave him back. Uh, to sen create a sense of belonging we need profile pages for every user, add more questions everywhere, uh, add, sub add more support for more languages, add URLs for security and that point the make a site a truly mobile first site is one of the most important features scope that we have. Like yes, what sir. is the difference between the existing system? Uh, Moodle does provide a lot of the learning material and content, but uh, this we hope to expand to a lot of school children. So, if you can basically tell me, tell me the uh, uh, two, three, four unique features those Moodle does not support and you have developed. So, I never personally seen a Moodle that runs FAQs. So, you did not do any literature survey? No, it says FAQ. FAQ is available on Moodle. Um, I, I have not seen a Moodle that does that. Uh, so, and FAQs and uh, the content, which one? Oh, yeah. Uh, the auto grader. Auto grader is also available. <laughs> okay. Uh, the test your strength department where you can continuously test your skills against other coders on the platform. Available. Okay, so those are the thing is you are saying those components are currently. No, no. Yeah. If you do not know, do not accept. Yeah. I told you time and again everybody black haired people know more than white haired people and no hair people. Okay. Auto grader is not available in Moodle. The <laughs> auto grader which I have developed is not available anywhere. Okay. You, you no, that, that is one thing. What are the uh, no, that, that is explaining. Okay, that is explaining. That is explaining. The auto grader is not. It's not done. It's Everything a pretty long one. Construction. Okay. 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 What is not available in Moodle? What is what is not available in Moodle is guaranteed answer within a specific time. Okay. That is not available anywhere. It's it's a discussion forum which is enhanced to the level where a mentor is supposed to answer that is that is what the portal is guaranteeing ok. But that is not available in Moodle, wait wait wait. This is on executional part, yes, sir. as far as your contributional part uh, uh, compared to this. No sir, they have, because they have implemented a mentor who gets a list of questions which are not answered ok. They have established something, you no know, because I know this the concept was mine so they cannot answer it ok. <laughs> they have established something which says ok a growing FAQ, FAQ is not static. A mentor adds to an FAQ. What I have told him is any time a mentor gets a question, so I am going to be the mentor, so I know what my requirement is. Okay. If a mentor gets a question and if he answers a question, there are three choices he has. Discard the question as a stupid question, nobody else will ask. Okay. Second thing is store it as a possible question which may be asked again. So that is reasonable question. Moderation. Third question, third third option is add it to the FAQ with a particular topic. The FAQs are organized on topic, they are searchable on topic as well as content. Okay. The idea is a, a model by which we started the process of implementing, and that is why it is still under construction because we took a lot of time for it. Okay. Any time somebody wants to learn any topic, and that is what he did not call, it has got nothing to do with C. The only reason why C is taken is because I can be a C mentor. That is why they, they said M impact, it is an experiment. Okay. But what I so that, uh, that answers uh, the question uh, why not Moodle? What, what I suggest uh, uh, you have developed it. I, no, no, wait, 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 no, 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 very important, very important. I have to answer that. I have to answer that. No, I have to answer that. Okay, because there is a fundamental difference. Okay, Moodle is controlled by a white haired teacher. This is controlled by the student. Mentor is assisting him. He is not teaching him. Okay, very essential difference. I do not track a student. I do not track is this thing and I will never track in whatever I do because as a student I learnt without a teacher. 
Okay, I did not attend a single lecture. Okay, so that is it is based on my learning ability. Now, now whether you have developed this or this is on conceptual level? No, these most of this, uh, I'd say about uh, 70 to 80 percent of this is already done, uh, as we'll see in a demo right now. The most of the future scope that we have no, up no, here. Just, just wait, yeah. wait. The, the reason I'm asking this question is that, see, uh, in spite of reinventing the wheel, what I suggest that if you are in process, you should develop a extension for the Moodle. See, Moodle is a bigger community, lot of people are using. So the acceptability and usability no, no, no. and the idea popularity can also go Moodle to the masses. I, I, since I designed it, you are, they should not ask it. Okay, I have I have always said. Okay, Mo I do not give software to the world. I am not. I am not a fan of your fossey and all those things. I am a fan of free to use. Okay, I will never develop an extension for Moodle. Okay, and I will always reinvent the wheel. Okay, because my wheel is always better than any other wheels ever developed. I am an Indian, most of the software is from India, we should be ashamed that somebody else has developed Moodle and we have not developed a better Moodle. There is a, uh, a learning management system Abhishek, Abhishek which is being developed by IIT uh, Kanpur, okay. the name is Abhishek. Um, so it is better not to go to the US based uh, LMS, go to the Indian LMS. No, no, this is not a, this is, sorry. This is not a learning management system, please. It's not a no, no, it, it will be a gali to me if it is learning management system, right? Because the concept is nobody can manage my learning. This is how I learned. Okay. Unfortunately, I had to clear tests. Okay. So I had to do some study to clear the test. That's all. I learned the way I wanted to learn. Unfortunately, I could not decide when I should be assessed. If I was allowed to decide when I should be assessed, I would have cleared IIT in four years instead of five. Okay, because of the system, I was stopped from clearing IIT in four years because they decided when I can learn. It's as simple as that. So, but the other alternative is that just, just one minute, I will hand it over. The uh, there are so many CMS also available. Let let's forget saying it as a LMS, yeah. like learning management system. Just consider it as a content management system now, CMS. Okay, so there are standard CMS available. I can list out so many. Let like, let's say Drupal, Joomla, Daisy, J, J Library, whatever. So why didn't we consider it as a CMS as a in general? See what happened basically there are so many things which are readily available as a plugin things and just put up your uh, toppings on this and uh, assemble it. I will answer. I'll answer. I'll answer this question. <laughs> no, he cannot answer. No, wait. Sorry. No, no, no. I, I, will, I will not allow them to answer because this is not their decision. Okay. You can't ask a person if he has not decided. Okay. No. no. They, they don't have to investigate where, because their charter was to implement. If, what? <laughs> there was only one team. There was only one team. Huh? By the way, I have, I have uh, always attacked all the teams on completing their specification, specification not being proper. Okay. Only one team I attacked because their specifications were wrong. Okay, and that too I said you should have overruled what your person said. That's all. Okay, I don't think this is this is that. I asked them to implement. I did not ask them to search. Take a CMS, take a LMS and do that. I am a born programmer. I program. I don't use other people's programs. It's as simple as that. Okay. When somebody says the forum is 300 lines, okay, I can assure you I will never use a forum software. Okay. The time, amount of effort I take to take forum software and integrate in mine, I might as well write. My programming effort will increase. Okay. Ah, by the way, okay, fantastic. V very good question. Every software I write is reusable. My forum will be reusable. It will be built in a manner whether it is reusable. W th does that mean I should use somebody else's 300 lines? No. Okay. Every system that comes in, okay comes in with a lot of baggage. Okay, I can't use it directly because I don't suit my requirements to that system. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Fantastic question. Fantastic question. Okay. I did not say I don't trust other people's software. I said even if the forum is working, I will not use somebody's 300 lines because to integrate that takes effort. Okay, I did not say forum do not work. Okay, 
why should somebody trust my software don't trust it i am not i i, I am not saying i am not saying that this is given to the world to use i am saying no okay i said no i don't use uh, open source and i say i do free to use okay if it doesn't work i'll i'll fix it no i am not giving it to others to use never no wait fantastic question i am not allowing source code to be released for a very fundamental reason okay that the world is full of crooks okay i will not allow my software to be open so that crooks can use it and make money on it and then kill me in the process okay no 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 i i don't use licenses licenses are the driving license is broken and what license are you talking about here okay no anyway i'll i'll tell you i'll tell you i'll give you a reason okay eka shiksha is site has got 9 lakh users now okay go to merit nation how many people they have they are looting children at 2000 rupees per standard okay now do you think i will give whatever i have which they don't have source code available to me so that they will give make better content i am not an idiot okay let me let me reach let me reach 10 100 lakh people 10 million people then i will release open source that is okay i am not going to allow my source code to be copied by others so that they will use manpower eka shiksha is built only with summer interns i have only two people with me i am not going to compete with people who have got 100 programmers and give them their source code so that they will develop better content i am not an idiot i don't do that that is the reason when i say i will not give free source i don't for example the mentoring forum whatever i have i don't want i don't want uh, our merit nation to offer that service using my code and have 100 mentors so that nobody will come to my site why the hell should i do that okay and id idi in a nascent stage okay can never be made public if any of you some of you said that they want to become entrepreneurs entrepreneurs are mostly paranoid okay and i am very paranoid i am paranoid about the competition and i cannot compete because i have no money i have money personally okay. no i am not investing that's it that's simple okay this social initiative i will not invest okay good afternoon everyone i am sunandini sanyal and i am here to present the live demonstration of our site impact so to begin with uh, as pointed out by my friend aditya he has uh, he has told that we aim at developing a learning portal so there can be uh, three types of users in our site so uh, as a unregistered user you can just uh, go around and uh, you can either sign up and uh, we have a registration page for signing up so i will be taking you through the steps uh, that will be followed by a student and i will be logging in as a student so this is our home page and uh, I'll first take you through the learn section. So as a in the learn section, uh I have a list of tu tutorials, list of topics under the tutorials and uh, a student can uh, click on any of the topics and each of the topics have been categorized accordingly uh as subtopics. So I can click on any of them and uh, get the relevant portion. Okay. Now next uh, comes our download section where you can download the compilers and practice. And we also have an example section where we have begun uh, where we have given example codes, so he can go through any of them. And the next section is the FAQ section. This is uh, consisting of the frequently asked questions. uh which are mainly c programming related so he can search any of them by topic and he will get the relevant uh, question and he can view the answers and also he has an option to like the answers if he has uh, liked it already it's a down thumb which has been shown because he has liked it already and the next part uh is that if he faces any difficulty regarding uh, the theoretical knowledge which he has been gaining throughout he can go to the ask a mentor section in the ask a mentor section he can put in his question 
for example i'll be putting in a question once i ask a question it will automatically appear in his my questions list and the next part is uh, assessment section and it is very important on the learner's uh, point of view so in the assessment section we have two sub parts first is the question bank the question bank has a list of questions and he can click on any of them to assess himself and the second part is the auto grader which will be explained by my colleague good afternoon everyone um i'll give you a brief regarding what auto grader is so auto grader is basically a tool which is used to validate programming problems automatically as the name suggests so it provides a model to the instructor or the mentor to design questions of different types uh, like compile with no warnings compile with no errors and it provides a platform to the student to uh, to assess himself or herself that how much he has learned or grasped the concept so i'll give you a demo visible to all the mentors yeah and if some mentor answers it it will be uh, it will come on the unanswered questions list and as soon as the mentor logs in uh, it will be displayed on his home page i mean uh, when whenever he logs in he will be directed to a page and it will be displayed over there so uh, we have guaranteed this as in uh, whenever mentor logs in so the first thing that will be visible to him is the list of unanswered questions so he'll be directed to and he'll be forced to answer those questions and uh, whichever he wants to answer and unless and until any mentor answers it it won't uh, disappear from this list so uh, and if a uh, student likes it uh, as in if a uh, mentor wants it to add it to faq he can add it to the faq as well and will disappear from the unanswered questions uh, so this is the first page that would be displayed to the student uh, this is a list of uh, programming questions from which he can choose so suppose i click program to test whether two numbers are equal so this uh, requires the student to write a c function complete a c function we have already given the prototype to him he need uh, need to implement a key in only the logic uh, which is required of the question so this is the edit editable portion where he can key in his own code so now uh, the student would be provided with three options either to compile execute or submit directly for auto grading so first i'll compile so he would be notified whether the compilation was successful or not now i'll click submit for auto grading so the it was successful submission and he has been given full credit for his submission because it was as per the requirements okay so this was the auto grader section uh, for the student i'll ask uh, riya to please continue good afternoon everyone okay. i'll show that <laughs> so uh, suppose it uh, the function requires to return one if they are equal and zero if they are unequal suppose he makes a mistake in his logic if he returns a uh, zero instead if, um so this shows a failure message because uh, there are some hidden test cases it would uh, test for a uh, various inputs and if if every like there are we, we have designed different types one is compile with no warning if the student submitted code has no warnings he would be it will show you the error that it has a uh, syntactical error so it will uh, it is a uh, like a debugger also it will help uh, the student to debug his program also before submitting so i'll like to uh, uh, request riya to continue good afternoon everyone i'll uh, take you through the steps that a mentor will do so first i will log in as a mentor so he can go through the learn section the first thing that would be displayed to him would be all the unanswered questions these questions are those questions which was posted by the student so he can go through them he can submit his answer 
so this is the question which is displayed before this is the question he can write his description and if he feels that this question has been answered by him before he can just search it here like this suppose uh, this was the question which he has answered before he wants to link to this question then he can click on link to this and uh, there are two more options add to faq and likely to be faq if he feels that this question is asked frequently by a student then he can click on add to faq this question would be added to the faq section or he can click on likely to be faq to add it to uh, likely to be faq means this question can be faq in future but now it is not an faq so he can uh, just answer the question and it would be disappeared from here he would be shown all the next questions which he need to answer and it would be shown in answered by me section no the student need not to say uh, the mentor is supposed to do that since mentor is adding this question to the faq so he is supposed to classify it according to the category which he wishes because student is a learner he doesn't know which topic he is learning might be is learning a language uh, might be is learning english english uses pointer so in that case yeah i understand i understand so i am answering this because it is a philosophy i only answer philosophical questions the philosophy of this site it is for the learner it is not for the mentor mentor can walk 1 mile before answering question that rule is okay with me okay everything that is needed to make life simple for the learner will will be incorporated nothing that makes the learner's life miserable and the mentor's life easy will be implemented standard value proposition my life as well as a site i i was i was going to i was going to allow them to answer till you brought up the point it will be easier for the mentor then i stepped in now you now you provoke me to answer easier for the mentor hang it i don't care i will i'll answer that because that's a very important philosophical question okay which was discussed okay and i told them what my boss said okay no they they ask me a question you are going to mentor okay suppose there are so many students see this fellow asked that red fellow okay okay how will you how will handle it i told him my boss's thing and it is very important for anybody who is doing a startup okay what he told me once i raised similar thing and i just that term stuck in my mind avinash it is a good problem to have okay philosophy in life don't even think about a good problem to have if i got 10000 people hitting this site i will pay for mentors personally personal thing please know that good problem to i don't care okay scalability i don't care what you are talking about 10000 things by 10000 things the indian government would have paid so much money for it i don't care why the hell should i care this is an experiment you don't start an experiment you don't start a startup you should be scalable that's all you have to see can i solve the good problem to have yes i can okay c programming i can not an issue i have told them already up to 1000 2000 people i can handle after that i will see it's a good problem to have why is it a good problem to have if 2000 people are coming to this without word of mouth okay my experiment is successful okay my and with ek shiksha also one learning i'll tell you okay somebody talked about uh, paranoia and op open source okay now ek shiksha every idea starts as a child okay you have to protect it after some time the child should be robust enough to handle life on its own this is at a stage where you need protection once it is robust let 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 it fight for itself no why why bother okay this is experiment starts with an experiment okay but the second thing you have to know any of you are starting a startup okay each company should have values i have reacted purely whenever values have been asked the value system of this thing is it is for learners and the mentor okay and that is my value in life principles and values in life don't give suggestions which help a mentor give suggestions which help a learner perfectly fine mentor can also uh, anybody as a guest can also see 
most like contributors these are the contributors mean these are actually the mentors and the likes and the responses these likes are by the students most like responses uh, here it consists of all the questions and and the most popular answer uh, the popularity on the basis of the likes and here is the list of all the questions and uh, there is an auto grader for mentor side also where you can post question it would be explained by my colleague this is basically the question design form for the mentor there are uh, six types of uh, question the mentor can design as of now but the types can be uh, modified as per the requirements fu uh, in future so uh, i will create suppose uh, execute with a return value the title i'll give Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, compile with no warnings. If the uh, st student submitted program uh, compiles without any warning, then he would be given full credit for his submission. So this is basically a leniency what the mentor allows in the submission. So uh, compile with no errors. Suppose he would be given a code snippet which would contain some syntactical errors. So if he is able to rectify all the errors and then submit. if it is uh, accord if does not contain any syntactical errors then he would be given full credit by the auto grader then execute with a return value he would be required to write a function which uh, and return some value based on the input test cases and if it matches with the hidden uh, input test cases uh, then um, he would be uh, like uh, graded accordingly so, uh, execute with standard output and standard errors he would be like uh, required to um, write uh, some print up statements which would be compared uh, in already generated uh, output file uh, the mentor would create an output file which would contain the expected outputs and his uh, output file would be compared and if there are any uh, differences between them then uh, it would be a failure so these are the basically all the types executing with standard input output standard errors standard errors like Uh, I can give an example. I don't think that is implemented as yet. It's not implemented, no. no sir, okay. Like last. Ah, uh, something like given this function, okay, which has got certain parameters. Okay, let let's take sorting sorting itself. Okay, uh, not sorting, factorial. Okay, the function should print this error message. Okay, if the value the input parameter exceeds fifteen. because then it exceeds the integer limit okay print this error message if the input parameter is negative okay this kind of example i can give with that so that what i am saying is that you are expected to write printf bracket uh, printf it's not printf standard f printf bracket standard error okay comma that string you are expected to write that okay so i am checking the output of your program against the standard string i will give i will call your function with uh, minus 10 whatever is the standard error output i am going to collect it in a file by redirection i am going to match it with whatever whatever expected output okay, okay. so that's why it so shows all three types okay and the one uh, there there's one type which is there where i give a standard input file set of files run it against that and check it against set of standard output files that is for file writing so it covers almost everything that a c program does okay it can produce standard output it can produce standard error it can produce both it can produce files okay yeah. so once he has filled in the details he can submit uh this is the question that, um here he will uh, define the question um uh, okay so uh this is uh, basically i'm designing a, a c question um or uh, c function to test whether a number is even or odd so now he would be given three options insert visible where uh, the it would be visible to the student but it uh, he cannot edit it then insert editable where he can key in his own code and insert invisible the hidden test cases that won't be visible to the student end so i'll mark the uh, the header files and the function prototype as uh, visible then uh, this is another function which the mentor would write uh, it his its prototype would be hidden what is happening is this is a full c code okay the student enters only that enter your code over that is the input box so that is where he will enter his code if it is percentage etc correct 
now to test that i need some code okay so i have written a function which does exactly that so i can i have a full c program as a question okay now i i as a as a question submit a mentor okay can show some portion uneditable which is the definition write a program etc that was in a c comment okay so i am hiding the comment and i am showing that to the student which is non editable so that becomes a question text okay then rest of the thing i delete i only show him the this thing editable manner enter your code here okay then i got a main i hide my main okay i got a main in which i am calling the student function i am not even telling the student it's a function correct i am saying write the code which code snippet but that code snippet is inside a function okay which is supposed to return one with even etc right okay and i am also calling i also have a function which gives the right results so in the main what i do is i generate seven random numbers i'll call my my correct function i will call the student function if both of them match successful compare okay and i count the number of tests number of successful tests and depending on that my main function will return passed or failed zero or one i can also do partial thing not implemented as yet okay so currently i am just saying zero one done yeah so the yellow one represent uh, which are visible but are not editable uh, the red ones would be invisible to the user and uh, the green one uh, are uh, the editable area uh, so the buttons are there insert visible insert editable and insert invisible what they have not been able to do is right click se kar nahi raha hai so once i click in the students view you can see only the student uh, this, this part would be visible see. this is the part that a student correct 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 not not here when the browser it. side Ah, yeah. Ah, the here the teacher can see how it looks for the student. Yeah. Ah, preview, kind of. ah, preview. But it doesn't execute. I can give an execute here. No, actually, can... basically, this all part, ah, uh, uh, the uh, the students in would be ah uh, stored in a file. Dot HTML file. It is all ah uh, stored in a file, and ah uh, every it wouldn't be visible in the page source. I'm no. calling is even and is even one. Is even is supplied by the. They are creating a file. Okay. Everything would be there. He can see only the file name. He cannot uh, edit or open it. Twelve and it is even twenty one is equal to is even twenty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All possible test cases I have to write. I can put it in an array and write. Yeah, they can. No, no, no. Instructor. Ah, instructor को करना है और उसको उतना विजुअलाइजेशन के लिए दो तीन करें तो ये तो नहीं बैठ गया तो बैठ क्या गया तो बैठ गया नहीं उसमें टेस्ट इज़ नॉट करेक्ट ही विल स्टूडेंट विल बी बेनिफिटेड सो व्हाट स्टूडेंट विल बी बेनिफिटेड सो व्हाट तो आह दी क्वेश्चन हैज बीन सक्सेसफुली सेव नाउ यू कैन इधर क्रिएट अ न्य� so i'll request uh, sanjeev to continue actually we have give a test your strength section to test your strength yes. uh, to check the strength of uh, programming skills of user so basically in test your strength we have developed a c battle game and in this game we have given a play uh, sample play to the user so that he can understand the rules of this game no you don't have to go there this is what it will look like yes Uh, in 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 this uh, this this interface is make uh, is made in py framework actually in this interface the first opponent will uh, the first opponent don't have to explain the game just explain the philosophy and that's it okay game uh, will be available on that side okay the u the user will place the volleys like this so what are you testing the testing of when so it's basically uh, we have uh, implemented only one game as of now c battle game and uh, the user actually we have given a sample code to the user yeah sample code and, and user will sample code on the server as well the best code which has been submitted up till now is on the server side and your you need to download this sample code you need to optimize it and upload your code this is like uh, a contest user will user will provide the more efficient code just like submit volleys yeah uh, we will compare both the codes on the basis uh, you know see battle game right Battleship. Actually, ships are. 
So some ships are hidden on the board and you need to hit across them. The ships will uh, die and then, uh, you, the ship will be burnt or damaged, right? Actually, when we charge the charge on the particular cell, if uh, if a ship is present there, it will damage or sunk. 